Good morning. So any tips for the summer holidays? My routine always goes out of the window at this time. Anything I can do to make it different. And this is a big thing. I think some people put off starting. Some people will not do anything or think, you know, I'll just wipe the slate clean. And, and actually, it's always about think, seeing it as a good opportunity to, one, act a bit differently. Like when an obstacle obstacle gets in the way, if you even want to call that, come back to that in a second. How can we adapt that and how can we focus on what we can do during this time? Like, is it that actually we just need to shift our focus into a few more home sessions, as hard as they might be? Actually, what if this actually complements your training really well? Like I spoke to someone the other day and they were like, I haven't been able to get in, but I did a few replays from home, really actually enjoyed them, quite surprised themselves. Did a stomach blast, all on the core, right, very focused, did some kettlebell work. Now they're like, you know, I might get a heavier kettlebell and I might follow that again. And it's like, actually, they still got it in. And then next week, they're a bit more flexible, so they can come in again. Then the week after that, they're away. But you know what, actually, I'm going to take my stuff and I'm going to do a few home sessions. Or just follow that routine that we did. And this is them wanting to do it. And I think this is a big shift here in terms of, this is a tangent, but getting to do it versus feeling like you have to do it. If you're feeling like you have to do it, you probably need a bit of a break. If it's like... No, no, I get to do this so that I can be stronger, so that I can be fitter. So getting up and down from the floor is more easy, so I can do this fitness race, so that I can get stronger, so that I can get faster, so I can be healthier. And I think this is an important thing to remember when it comes to all of this health and fitness stuff in general, is that we get to do it. No one actually forces us to do it, right? So going back to this, I think it's seeing it's a good opportunity to see how we respond to obstacles that are on the way. Two, consider that actually during these times, it's actually a good opportunity to try new things, to tweak your plan a little bit. If you're struggling to get in as much or struggling to get out as much for runs, whatever, how can you include the kids in that? I think that's a, that's one easy thing um, to get in. Try and do stuff that's as active as possible for you as well. Like, So I like taking the kids swimming and stuff like that to so that I'm active as well. But let's say you can't get to certain sessions, your routine's out, maybe you don't get your normal walking, whatever it is, can you get a workout, workout in at home? Can you make stuff a bit more active? If you're away on holidays, think about going out, getting a walk in. Think about, can you get a home workout in if you wanted to do that? Of course, you have to, but a lot of people feel like you know, it has to be all or nothing. Can you enjoy your meals? But actually, rather than going all out, say that I'm going to enjoy my meals. And this might sound odd, but a lot often there's snacking, the bites, the licks, the taste. They're the things that quite often add up. It's not the meals that do much damage. And actually, quite a lot of the time, you can make great choices eating out. And morning, Jill. And if you are eating out, enjoy that meal. Maybe eat big, but less often. It's something that I often do um, on holiday is a big breakfast, big evening meal. But in the day, I'll barely eat and I'll be fine with that because I've made sure I've had quite a lot of protein. If I want to have something, I'll make it quite protein based or something that I really want to have. Like let's say, I don't know, you're in Italy and there's really nice gelato ice cream or whatever it is that you're like, oh no, I have to, I really want one of them. It's like, but if it's like, you know, just do you want to, nothing against choc ices, but do you want a choc ice? Yeah. I'm, I'm all right. Take it or leave it. So things like that, thinking about the, the yes, I've got to have that versus the yes. No, that is like just a bit of a snack, a bit of, I could have that anytime, like a rich tea biscuit. Um, so on top of this, think, think about company, not just food, right? We often think that it has to go out the window. Actually, one of the thing, the biggest thing for me in all this, the language that we use, where you think, oh, it has to go out the window. There's nothing stopping you keeping to a quite a similar routine in terms of breakfast times, in terms of getting up in terms of and it's similar with weekends and, and my advice is exactly the same try and ha plan it a bit try and have a bit of a bit of a structure if you sleep in fine just try and stick to the same similar schedule or have a plan like if you're eating out later I spoke about this this morning actually if you're eating out later can you try and stick to more protein-based foods allow you a bit more flexibility like even yesterday um, we had these delicious ribs with like a sweet barbecue sauce on amazing but massively calorific actually surprised me how calorific they were but delicious but i had this this caloric space if you like because i kept carbohydrates fats reasonably low during the day 
so that I had a bit more flexibility for later. And then you've got on top of that, that I think you can just start after that. There's no, nothing, no problem with that. But I think, are we, if we completely start off that, are we simply just setting the tone that any, any time there's a holiday, I can't stick to it. I think it's all about finding ways that take you rather than all or nothing, like the British weather. We want to go somewhere in between sometimes, like, you know, bit of, bit of blue sky, bit of maybe 22 degrees, 23 degrees, quite nice, rather than 29 and then gray and raining. You know, there's, there's that sweet spot in the middle. And if we can hit that, where it's like, you know, on, on these weeks I have a plan for when I can't do everything. And actually you'll find it so much easier to maintain your results and keep your results if you stick with that in between a little bit. And I think it's being okay with not being perfect is probably actually the answer to the question, but I've just answered it in a long-winded way, but hopefully giving you a few strategies in there in terms of the biggest one, think credits and debits with all of this. Overall, right, it's your calories over the day. Can you walk a bit more as much as you can when you're away? Be as active as possible. Try and include, the, think of stuff that you do with the kids or on holiday that are as active as possible. Great thing to do. You'll feel better for it as well. Number two, think about if you're eating out later and those foods aren't as in control, what can you control today? Can you control your portion size? Can you control your f protein choices? Can you stick to lots of fresh fruits? Like try like new vegetables, things like that when you're eating out. Always a good thing to do. And ultimately, if it's just a week, don't go into that mindset of us oh, the whole summer. If it's just two weeks, it's not the whole summer. Um, anyway, hope that helps. Any questions as always? Do let me know and have a lovely week.